About once a year, I do my own little YouTube rewind where I sit alone and watch the worst stand-up comedy videos on YouTube. I just marathon them because I get some kind of sick pleasure from watching these absolute train wrecks. Over the last year or so, I've shared a couple of my favorites with you all, such as the infamous Biceps comedian that looks like Sid from Toy Story and then the City Council stand-up comedian. And while those two are great, timeless classics, there's always been one that I've kept to myself for fear of it being too powerful, just too much for the ordinary person to handle. Human beings weren't really meant to handle this level of cringe, but this holiday season I decided I'll give you the gift of knowledge, and I'll show you what the worst stand-up comedy I've ever seen is. And it's actually near and dear to my boners because I've known about this for about a decade now. It was posted in 2011 and I found it shortly thereafter because it's in Florida. It's in my own backyard. So, it's a, it holds a very special place to me, and I hope you all appreciate it. It's around seven and a half minutes, but I promise you it's gonna feel like an eternity. This is gonna be the longest seven and a half minutes of your entire fucking life. And just so you know, that's us. So I hope you guys are ready to have some fun, because otherwise we're gonna get fucked by a bunch of fucking cockroaches and grasshoppers. So... So as the camera panned around, you can see that it's a sold-out crowd here tonight. Everyone lined up and bought tickets to see this man perform. This is an open mic night at a comedy club, and this guy's taking full advantage of it. Now, in his defense, he has had a, a couple of booze. He's been butt-chugging some beer a little bit tonight, so he's, he's feeling it a little bit. But there's really no excuse for how awful this routine you're about to hear is. Wiggy, I know you're looking at me like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Whatever. You know what, no offense, but since it's my last night, you're gayer than the ace of fucking spades, you're queer than a three dollar bill and fucking A. Somebody in the <laughs> How good are you at giving head? Now for those of you that aren't well versed in stand-up comedy, what he's doing here is called crowd work. He's bantering with the audience, getting them involved in his comedy, you know. It's just a little class participation, and they're all having a hoot and a holler, he's doing a great time here. So he just picks out some guy and starts calling him gay. Says he's gayer than a $3 bill. Whatever that means. That sounds like something someone would have said during the, the Great Depression or some shit. Or like the Prohibition era. Like I, I don't even understand like what the fuck it means. But anyway, there's only like five people at this bar. And he decided to make an enemy out of one of them. So he's already got 20% of the crowd against him right from the get-go. And unfortunately, the recording's a little late, so I would be very interested to know what was even happening before this that made the guy start recording. It must have been a fucking disaster even before he got on stage. Um, I'm okay, but I'm better at receiving it. Well, you know what, I'll take okay, because, uh, you know what, I'm a little... I'm not that generous, so, you know, I'd rather have you teeth me and rape me to shit than actually fucking give you any sort of satisfaction. Really? But you know what? It's cool because you know it's never gonna fucking happen because he's way too fat for me, dude. Mm. I just don't roll like that. No offense. Before you say anything, like, no offense, but I just want to say you're a fucking fat fucking douchebag moody motherfucker. I wouldn't fucking put my guy anywhere near you, but. It really just feels like he went on stage to fight. Like, he didn't even go up there and start with jokes. The first thing he went up there and said is that that guy over there is gay, like a $3 bill. And now it's just been him on the defensive the entire time. It's like he just went on the roast me subreddit just to get mad when people start roasting him for being shitty. This is the kind of video that would haunt someone for their entire life. You know when you lie awake at night just thinking of embarrassing shit you did and it makes it hard to fall asleep for a little while? Imagine this is something that you're thinking about. I can only pray that this guy was blackout drunk when this happened so he just doesn't remember it at all. Otherwise, he probably hasn't slept for a single minute since this happened. You know what, fucking, you're gonna fuck, fucking wake you in the bathroom, fuck you. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck your girl. Man. Good one. <laughs> I don't have a girl, so you know what, we can all join together. You're a fucking douchebag, you know what, sitting in the front of the crowd, fuck you. Anyway, um... He sounds and acts like a character from the whitest kids you know. It's hard to believe that this actually happened and is a real event. This isn't like a skit or part of a show or, or like an ARG experience. This was just something that actually happened. Austin Wheeler's girlfriend. <laughs> Thank you. If I wasn't scared of getting herpes, I'd fuck her too. 
You know what? It's a comedy show, dear. You gotta roll with it the was. punches. It was. It was. Yeah, you're right. Unfortunately, it seems that herpes joke didn't stick the landing. And that is yet again another audience member he has made an enemy of for life. I, it feels like he has friends here because he keeps mentioning people's names. So he obviously knows people here. They have to be the worst friends of all time to let him go up here and do this. In front of other human beings. Like they should have just immediately like shuffled him off stage like the men in black uh, abduct him. Just get him the fuck out of there before it got worse. The second he dropped that herpes line, his friends should have been storming the stage to get him out of there. Oh, 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 you want to hear joke? Okay, so I'm watching golf earlier, right? And obviously that's the most boring fucking shit to watch. Do you know the difference between fucking looking for a golf ball in a G-spot? A guy will spend 20 minutes looking for a fucking golf ball. Really? Come on. All hope is lost. Not even a golfing G-spot joke is working here. Who is he performing for? Mannequins? How are they not laughing at that? Do they not understand humor? Um, can we talk about marriage a little bit more? Because that's a huge mistake. Yay! I know a few people who made that mistake. Um, yeah, I made the mistake of uh, marrying a, what do you, uh, a cunt. That's what you would call it. Um, before we got married, it was great. You know, we actually had sex and all that shit. But once you say I do, they don't. I'm sorry to keep breaking up his performance like this, but I just feel like if you watch this all in like a single runtime, you get cursed. It's like straight out of the ring. Like, you know, you watch that VHS tape and then you die like later. That's what happens with his stand-up routine. You watch it all in one sitting and then your wife leaves you and you go straight to hell or some shit. I don't even know what's going on here. He's not even telling jokes anymore. It just feels like he's treating it like a therapy session. You know, he's like, hey, I was married once. It didn't work out well. Anyone have any advice? We, before we fucking got married, every time we, we had sex on top of a jaguar, on top of a leopard, on top of a fucking Florida wildcat. Well, the, the jaguar is the only real thing, but the important thing is that once you get married, they don't want to have sex with you. And that's why you actually shouldn't get married. Because women fucking suck. Who hurt this man? So the moral of his story, like the breakdown of his whole stand-up routine is... Women fucking suck. Jesus Christ. Like, what the fuck is even going on here, man? It's not even like a stand-up routine. He's treating it like a shitty TED Talk or something. If you're gonna get married to a woman, they fucking suck. If you're just gonna bang them and say, hit you and quit you, they're great. They're fucking awesome. Love them. But if you get married, totally different story. That's why I'm just not gonna do that shit anymore. I'm just gonna drink and have unprotected sex at every bar I can. Did you hear that, ladies? I'm surprised there weren't sodden panties being tossed from the crowd at him. They must just not have heard what he said. He said he's looking to have unprotected sex at bars that he goes to. He's at a bar. So, uh, come on, come on, ladies, form an orderly queue in front of the stage and uh, wait your turn here. No, but I see you're wearing a wedding ring. Are you actually married? Yeah. Or do you just do that to pick up women? Uh, you're not gonna hurt my feelings. It's not gonna I, work. I can't imagine I can. Nope. I mean, unless I was the teller at fucking KFC saying you can't have the double stack with extra cheese. Oh! 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 I'm thinking on my feet even though I've been drinking. You're good, man. Hours. Shit. Don't ruin the set. You're doing good. Now, this is where it gets a little wild. So then the cameraman gets involved here. He starts targeting the camera guy. And it feels like I'm playing a first-person video game here. It was like I was in the driver's seat for a minute, and he was like calling me out. It's like, what? You're gonna hurt my feelings? I don't even eat at KFC, bitch. I think Popeyes is significantly better. What? You want to fight about it, pussy fart? You know, I just felt like kind of, you know, in the moment, like attached to it. Things got intense for a second. And then he picks somebody else. He's really just on stage to make everyone mad at him and hopefully force a fight to maybe sue them. Like, I, I don't know what the strategy is, to be honest, but that's like the only thing I can almost rationalize. Yeah. Oh, this comes... Dude, you're funnier than your fucking boyfriend, and he's not here. Dude, we need to get her up here with a fucking microphone. Holy shit. A woman with intelligence? Go figure. My God. Hey, who built the road systems in this country? Men. Who built skyscrapers in this building? Men. Who built the penal system in this fucking place? Men. Why did they do it? To get laid. Poof. 
I've seen this video a few times and every time I do, I feel like I go to war. Like I finished the video and I'm like sweating. I feel like I just ran a mile. It's like, God damn, I just got a workout in watching this because it's, it's tough. Like it is, it's a hard to sit through video. It really is. <laughs> what did you say you big fat fucking teal wearing motherfucker? Why would you wear a teal shirt to anything? I, you know what? Except for the fact that your seat's probably fucking soggy and dirty because you got a fucking hairy ass and you're fucking fat and you fucking suck, motherfucker! At this point, it sounds like he's about to start crying and run away. But what if I told you, we're just barely over the halfway point, baby. Like, we're, we're only in like the second quarter here. God damn it. We're just getting warmed up, really. He hasn't even got to his best material yet. Right now, you're just getting appetizers and <laughs> stimulating your appetite. And he's ready to close it here with the main course coming up. He, he's getting really upset at the crowd, you know, like, why are they being mean to me? I was only insulting them and calling them fat and saying women suck. Why is everyone not my friend? Yes, supporting real comics. I didn't know you were going to be here. <laughs> just don't be angry, dude. Just have a good time. That's what I'm doing. You know what? If I was <laughs> angry, I'd smack you in the face with my microphone. No, that's not very nice. That's not very nice. Which is why I'm not angry. Don't this is that. why we're having a dialogue in front oh. of these people where you're dirty. These you're, I'm being supportive of you. These, these, these five people here are witnessing. I want you to do good. I'm not being mean. I want you to do good. No, I'm going to do well. Clearly, the English system didn't do very fucking well for you, sir. Thank you. Yes. Yo, which teach. Is why I've done all of you a favor and cut out a lot of it, but he just starts arguing with the camera guy and a couple other people. Just He's literally just arguing, and it's not really fun to listen to. It's just uncomfortable. Like, it's just, it makes me, like, squirm in my seat. So I just cut a lot of that out, and I'll just give you the tail end here. And it's still awful. Like, the whole thing is truly miserable. It's just like a two-minute argument that he gets into with people that are just there that were to enjoy comedy. He just starts arguing with them over nothing. Regardless, you're gonna die before me, you fat fucking asshole. So fuck you. Let's bring up Gene Simmons. Fuck this asshole. I am an asshole. Take my stage presence, you fucking douchebag. I hope you rot in hell after the rapture and fucking choke on your own cum. Aren't you going Fuck. To Good closer. That's <laughs> good, bro. You're real good, man. And that's where it wraps up. A legendary performance. It ends a bit aggressively, yeah, for sure. But goddamn, what a what a journey, what a ride. I imagine he had to have left immediately after that set. There's no way he went back in the audience. There's no fucking chance he went back into the audience. His friends must have just deleted his number and pretend they never knew him. They just called him a taxi and got him the fuck out and forgot about him forever. Like, there is no way you come back from that in that group of friends that saw it. It's just, it's not possible. No matter how drunk you are, that is a disaster that ruins relationships. Like, God, goodness gracious, what, what in tarnation must have went wrong, what went awry to allow for such a catastrophe to occur at such an innocent uh, comedy bar? Ugh. But man, what a great video we have. Uh, I just wanted to share that. That is, without a doubt, like the hardest comedy video to sit through that I know of, that I've personally seen. I think it's worse than the Biceps Comedian and the City Council one. I know I say a lot, like I exaggerate a lot, like this is the worst stand-up comedy ever, but I, I do think of all of the ones I've seen, this one is perhaps the worst. And uh, that's about it. See ya.